Turn your ear to the sky. I can hear Thor beating his hammer hard against that mighty anvil. He is celebrating his father Odin. The bright and amazing sparks that are flying from his anvil are lighting a path through the skies of old. I've got five facts about weather phenomenon that you never actually knew how it all works, right here on Commercial Pilot In Command. In this video, I'm presenting to you five amazing weather phenomenon that you thought you knew how it worked, but the magic and the mythology of the old Norse gods have you fooled. From the mysteries of lightning to the wonders of the Earth's magnetic field, we've got some incredible facts that will change just how you think about weather on a daily basis. Hey, my name is Seth. Welcome to another episode on the Commercial PIC Show. Thank you for being here. Stick around to the end because I've got a pro pilot tip that you are not going to want to miss. Also, I have a really good aviation book that I'd like to recommend to you later in this video. Alright, let's get into why these weather phenomenon are so fascinating and so important for you to understand. Number one, I love lightning. It is one of nature's most dramatic spectacles. But how does it actually form? It all starts when the buildup of electrical charges in storm clouds happen. Usually when it starts raining, that static electricity causes positive and negative charges to grow and they get strong enough and the air becomes ionized. It creates a pathway for the electrical discharge, which we see happen as lightning. Did you know that lightning can actually create glass in the ground? When lightning strikes sand or soil, the intense heat can fuse that sand into a glass-like substance and it's called fulgurite. You should look it up. It's really cool. It forms a unique, often hollow branching like structures, kind of like an underground anthill. And it's a natural glass sculpture that captures the path of the lightning bolt as it was going through the ground. It's a really beautiful and rare phenomenon. All right, number two, everyone always says that thunder is just lightning breaking the sound barrier. Well, I'm here to tell you, that's just not true. When lightning moves through the air, it intensely heats the air that it passes through. That hot air then moves rapidly outward and slaps the surrounding cold air. In other words, that slap is nothing more than the rapid expansion and contraction of air heated by that lightning bolt. And that intense heat causes the air to expand explosively, causing that shock wave, which we all hear as thunder. Hey, real quick, this show is available on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. So if you're new here, I just want to say welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber or listener, I appreciate you very much and I want to thank you for your continued support. All right, let's get into more dangerous weather. The kind of weather that will close your flight plan for you rapidly and permanently. Number three, have you ever looked up into the sky and you see all these weird bubbles forming in the clouds? There's hail and then there are clouds. Hailstorms form in strong thunderstorms with intense updrafts. These updrafts carry raindrops upward into extreme cold areas of the atmosphere where they freeze and they grow larger. And then they go up and down, up and down, over and over and over again, rolling and tossing in the clouds ever so miraculously. This hail making process will cause clouds to look like they have bubbles and they're known as mammatus clouds, which are very, very severe weather clouds. And there's typically thunderstorms and embedded thunderstorms headed your way. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Number four, bomb cyclone. It is a rapidly intensifying storm that can cause hurricane like conditions on land. In fact, it is a land hurricane. It's an intense low pressure system where the atmosphere pressure drops significantly in a short period of time, which it leads to intense winds, heavy rain and snow, blizzards, and significant impacts. In fact, I've actually been through one of these in Colorado in the middle of the country. It was intense. It was right after a flight. Click on this link here after this video to check it out. Hey, so there's a top rated aviation weather book that you might want to check out and you can actually get it for free on Audible. It's called Weather Flying by Robert N. Buck. It's an essential read for any pilot aiming to master the complexities of aviation weather. Robert was a seasoned aviator. He combined his extensive flying experiences with clear practical advice, offering you actionable 
insights into the navigating challenging weather conditions. The book breaks down intricate meteorological concepts into easy understandable guidance, but it's enriched with real world examples and expert tips from his journeys. It's a really good book, you should check it out. Whether you're a novice or experienced pilot, weather flying will equip you with the knowledge to enhance your safety and confidence in the cockpit. If you want to get this book for free, check out the audible.com link that I have down below in the description. I promise you it's free. It's a 30 day trial that you sign up for. And when you, uh, when you sign up for it, you get a free credit and you take that credit and you can spend it on any book that you want. And you get to keep the book even after the trial ends. Grab the book, but then you can cancel any time you like. And you get to keep that book. Audible compensates creators like me for bringing you to their platform. But hey, regardless, there's no commitment to have access to this content right here. You can always enjoy this show at your leisure. Check out the comments below or in the show notes for the links that I discussed earlier. All right, number five, but we're not done yet. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron and nickel in its outer core. The field protects us from solar wind and cosmic radiation flying around all over the place all the time. It also causes a phenomenon with northern and southern lights, which we've seen recently uh, where the southern lights and northern lights have moved towards the equator and you can see them in really cool places like Florida and the colors have changed, purple and pink and really depends on where it is. Cool thing about Jupiter is that when Jupiter is in the right position, its magnetic field can exert a noticeable squeeze and an influence on the Earth. Our planet is sat perfectly between Jupiter and between the Sun that are constantly pulling on this rock in a galactic tug of war. Thankfully, neither star nor giant have won the battle and we sit perfectly between the two making life on Earth very, very possible. All right, for my pro pilot tip, I want to encourage you to always be prepared for the unexpected. It's a critical part of being successful as a commercial pilot. Always, always, always check the weather. Never assume and never get complacent about it. Not just at your departure, but also your arrival and any alternates you might have to go to. Don't go into a situation because of pride, trust me. I know of a cargo pilot who went against his instincts, listened to his company's dispatch, and took the flight anyway. He was flying from Central Florida to Atlanta. His plane broke up into a thousand pieces and he was never seen again. The NTSB report number for this action is NTSB slash AAR slash 90 slash 06 right here on screen. Go check it out. I highly recommend you read it. You will learn something from it and it will remind you of how important it is to make sure you make great decisions about the weather before you leave the ground. Hey, speaking of weather, this t-shirt right here, I wanna show you, 75 taken alive, 76 radio glitch, and 77 going to heaven. This is a pilot squawk t-shirt. I'm telling you what, I wear these at airports. I get comments on this t-shirt all the time. Hey, what does that mean? Hey, that's really cool, I've never heard it like that. Check it out in the description below if you want to get your copy. All right, I got a question for you. If an employer were to ask you about a significant event on your resume, would you be able to convince them to hire you? Have you thought about this before? Tell me, what's your best answer? Leave a comment below letting me know what you would say, or just simply type a pilot's life for me if you made it this far in the video. I just want you to know I appreciate you very, very much. Speaking of that, would you like to know the top questions that employers are going to ask you during the interview process? They will ask you these questions. I have compiled a list of the top things, questions, and answers you need to know when you're going into an interview. It's all right here in these videos on screen. Click or tap to watch them next. Enjoy the journey and pilots fly that airplane to the finish every single time. I'll see you in the next one.